Before we actually begin, I would like to remind you that on entomedschool.com you will have exactly what you should study every day for 90 days. It's called our study guides. So make sure to go to entomedschool.com and to download all the relevant iMotive study materials. So the first thing we are going to actually do is to create a table that will represent the following stuff. The first thing on the table will be the grounds we actually have. The second thing on the table will be the molecular weight of the following molecule. It means if you have propane, if you have oxygen, if you have carbon dioxide and if you have water. So you should very easily calculate the molecular, the molecular weights of the following molecules. So molecular weight of propane will be 12 times 3 and 1 times 8. I'm not going to give you the fractions of the following numbers. I'm only going to give you the actual random numbers because in the IMET exam they are not going to give you point something. You are only going to use round numbers. So make sure you understand the concept without using a calculator like you are going to have on the exam. Because on the exam you are not going to have a calculator you are just, and you are just going to quickly to quickly do the math and solve it in your head during the exam. So make sure you are practicing the following ways. So 12 times 3 and 8 times 1, 1 more times 8, this is 36 and this is 8. 36 plus 8 means we have a molecular weight of 44. That's also. Awesome. Let's keep going. So the reason I actually wrote the following sections in the following direction, in the following order, is to actually make our life very make our life very easy and as you can see we can just divide 50 by 44 and we can get the number of moles which is number three on our list so 1.14 about that moles and this is number three on our list the next thing we are going to have to do is and this is the most important part we are going to actually use is to see the coefficient of the molecule and to divide the number of moles by the number of the coefficient. As you can see, propane doesn't have any coefficient, so we are going to just have 1.14 as the number of moles. So now we know how many moles, what is the molecular weight, and how much propane we actually got in the beginning. What we are actually going to calculate now is how much carbon dioxide we should get when you have 50 grams of propane on a in a theoretical yield. What do I mean? If you didn't have 5 grams as a product, what actually you would get when you have 50 grams of propane? So let's calculate it. The first thing you are going to do is actually take the reactant, move it underneath the coefficient ratios of carbon dioxide, which is the one we want to see how many grams we actually get in the theoretical yield. And because those are the products, as you can see, the coefficient ratio, the coefficient ratios are one to three. We get actually for one mole of propane, for each one mole of propane, we actually get three moles of carbon dioxide, which means we have to multiply the coefficient ratios and to actually get the coefficient ratios correctly. So 1.14 times 3 gives us, actually, if I calculate it correctly, gives us 3.10.10.44.42 moles. So theoretically, we should get from 50 grams of propane, which means we have 1.14 moles of propane, we should get 1.14 times 3 moles of actually carbon dioxide. And why do we multiply it by 3? Because the coefficient ratios are 3 to 1. This is why it's so easy using the following table to actually get the coefficient and to actually see the numbers we are actually going to have. So next. What is the molecular weight of carbon dioxide? If we quickly solve it by ourselves, we can see that 12, which is the atomic mass of carbon, you should memorize it, and 16 times 2, 
which is the atomic mass of oxygen. What a coincidence! It will give us the same molecular weight like copper, so 44. So now check it out, we have the actual number of moles we have. We have the molecular weight. This number divided by this number will give us the number of moles. But we don't have to do it because we know we have 50 grams on this side. We will for sure have 3 times the amount, which means we will get 150 grams of carbon dioxide on that side. So we calculated the theoretical amount of carbon dioxide we should get when we have 50 grams of propane reacting with an unlimited amount of oxygen, which means 150 grams of carbon dioxide are 100% theoretical yield. Every single thing we were talking about the video was based on the fact that we have an unlimited amount of oxygen reacting with propane. You are going to have to use the following table, which is grams, molecular weight, moles we actually have, and coefficient ratios. And using the table, you will see how easy it is to solve a lot of stoichiometric problems. So make sure to follow me on the next video, which will be how to actually calculate everything when you have a limiting reactant. So I will see you on the next video.